Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. <sighs> and did you know that straight guys and bromances like to kiss and cuddle? Uh -huh. uh, no. Yeah. Well, now you do. Is that does that come as a surprise? No, it doesn't come as a surprise that they make articles like this at all. Actually, we're gonna talk about uh, this actually in the the bigger context of of shippers shipper culture. Now, this article is a couple of years old. Uh, it's coming from Metro News. It's making the rounds again uh, here on Twitter. And uh, we went and found the original article. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about uh, shipping culture and why can't we be friends? Why can't why can't uh, two same sex hetero persons just be friends? Why does everything have to get uh, more intimate? Just same sex people in general, because I mean, you don't have to be hetero. You can be friends with somebody of the same gender as you. You know, it doesn't have to get that way. I mean, this is stupid. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about this. Before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 190,000 subs. Uh, sailing toward 200,000. Don't know what we're going to do for that. Uh, maybe maybe kiss and cuddle. <laughs> Sell does an NFT. No. We'll, we'll start up our, our Clownfish TV only fans. No, we'll kiss and cuddle. And then we'll sell that video as an NFT. Uh, so yeah, coming from Metro News, cur courtesy of Darth Collapsitarian. Collapsitarian uh, found the original article. Straight men and bromances, bromances, kiss, cuddle, and stand around naked together. No. Mm, yeah, not that I've ever seen. Uh, no, 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 we do not. Uh, not often. Um, according to research published in Sex Roles, a journal of research. Research. Okay, research in quotes. Research. What research? They, we did research because we said we did research. There is a strong desire to cuddle and hug between bromantic friends while kissing is just another way of showing affection. I hate to break it to you. But if there are two men kissing, cuddling, and standing around naked together, chances are they're not straight. <laughs> and whoever told you that, if your boyfriend or husband got caught standing around kissing and cuddling their friend, using finger quotes, yeah, you might want to have a long conversation. Because yeah. it might be a very long, awkward conversation for you. Uh, one of the students involved told the authors you can lie in bed with your bromance, have a cuddle, and just talk. While another said he understood it as having a cuddly buddy. A cuddle buddy. Ooh. <laughs> he might be cuddly. He might not cuddly be. Cuddly buddy. Oh, cuddle my God. Buddy. That's his name. Cuddly buddy. I just... Um... Hey, it's one o'clock in the morning, cuddly buddy, but I'm really... I'm just thinking I could use some broship. I just, I can't, I can't, I'm sorry, I just keep looking at this. And you know, I, I, as, as a woman, I don't, didn't do this with my friends. Now, girls will sometimes hug. They'll do that, oh, I'm so happy to see you, hug, 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 you know, and that's a girl thing for sure. But, you know, we don't go around, you know, kissing and like, you know, cuddling in bed together, not usually. I'm glad. Um, uh, We definitely don't run, I mean, girls are all body, they're, they're really insecure about their bodies to begin with. You sure as hell aren't going to run around your friends naked. A third thought, a third of, of the, who, who was actually, who was actually uh, being asked? A third of people thought that cuddling, hugging, and uh, dirty jokes were a core part of a bromantic this friendship. This sounds like the, the, it was a, a big confirmation bias, you know, a, sampling here. Anyway. <laughs> a bromance has been defined as an emotionally intense bond between straight men. This does not look like... A bond between straight men. No. I'm just putting it out there. I, I just, again, this this sounds to me like maybe, is this, this a woman that wrote this? You're in denial. No, it's Chris. Okay, well. Well, this, this picture here, down here, this looks like a, you know. That's more bromance. Um, bromance. Although, I, to be honest, I always thought it was weird that jocks would smack each other on the ass after yeah. a game. That was always kind of weird to me. I always thought that was kind of kind of not quite quite straight uh in its conclusion the authors wrote they spoke about their desire to cuddle and hug their bromantic friends i never thought about my friends and like thinking oh god i can't wait to go cuddle and hug them mm. what no some agreed that this was the case when asked whereas others offered it uh, unsolicited as part of their definition of a bromance in 29 of the 30 men who took part of this 30. 30. This is their this is their research. 30 dudes who you don't know where they came from and they could have just gone to certain places to find them. 30 dudes who took part in this this groundbreaking study. 
So we went to this gay bar and we, we asked 30 men in the gay bar. <laughs> I just, what? I mean, uh, this latest work also backs a 2012 study that found 89% of 145, 145. undergraduate 145 undergrads. 145 college guys. They they had kissed on the lips, had kissed their 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 bros on the lips. No, were they were they sober? Well, yeah, I can see people drunk doing that. Uh, one participant said, "Guys nowadays, my generation, there's so much kissing between guys because it's showing affection." No, not that I I've seen. I do not see this. In... My, my uh, you know, I know people in, in that generation, and I don't see that by them either. Another added, "I hug him and kiss him and tell him I love him." Uh, participants also talked about how comfortable they were to be naked. The naked thing I like, see guys doing, actually. Uh, I live in a house with three other guys, and there are massive bromances going on. between. I walk around naked. I got no problem staying naked in a room with my housemates. We feel comfortable being naked around each other. Um, so okay. weird. It's weird. Um, now, I'll tell you the truth. I have, my entire life, I've never had a roommate. I've, no, but you used to have, like, well, your friends you, would... But... Your friends would uh, come over and hang out, though, for, like, the whole day. Not naked. No, but I'm saying, did they did they have to hug, kiss you, cuddle you, be naked? No, generally what would happen is people would come over to my house, and because I worked weird hours, I was a freelancer, I would I would play house, house host, and uh, they would play games, and I would work. That's because I worked, like, all the time. Like now? Like now, mm -hmm. pretty much. Except, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, I never, I never actually had... He doesn't have time for romance normally. Let alone, let alone be bromance. I do. I pencil it in. Yeah. <laughs> you but forget. I never phone then, it in. Then you never, I might pencil it in, but I never phone it in. you forget that you penciled it in. Anyway, so <laughs> this is just, okay, so this is translates to other things, too, like we see with the shipping. And yeah, stuff like that's, that. that's where because we're Because you cannot be, in, in any show or any, you know, any of these things lately, you cannot be couples or friends, I mean, that are like the same sex friends. Uh, because immediately you are automatically shipped. It's ridiculous. It's getting, I mean, shipping is fine as long as you're not like forcing it on other people. But these people go too far. It gets taken way too far. And it's mostly women, I think, that do this. Yeah, it's weird. I, I wouldn't think that uh, women, grown women, regardless of, of uh, sexual identity, would, would really, well... I'd say would really uh, uh, find it fascinating that, that two, two men are kissing, cuddling, and And how come, like, even all the pictures, it's all same-sex people they are shipping? You know, everybody has looked at characters. In their mind, they ship characters. And, you know, be I it... No, be it, like, not, <laughs> not usually, like, oh, I can see them together, but not necessarily, like, same-sex people. Um, the problem becomes when you are, like, on places like Tumblr or Twitter, shoving it down everybody's throats and then getting mad and triggered if people don't like your ship and it's not made canon because you said so. That's when it becomes a problem. But, yeah, they, they yeah, they, you were bringing this one up with uh, Bruce Banner and Tony Stark. Yeah. You know, and I don't see them. They might hug. They don't make out or cuddle or anything else. I mean, yeah, shipping culture has has basically crept into the real world i think now they're trying to be like it's totally normal for uh to now i've said before you know guys like you know i've talked about this many many times that for some reason you know guys are, are friends and guys do actually have you know pretty close friendships mm -hmm. uh you know people gloss over it you might you might hug your friends yeah You're yeah but not like you know, with, you know let's no, watch that's, this movie spoon me you know <laughs> just that's like. freaking weird but yeah i mean guys you know can form pretty close friendships uh for sure and it, it, you know it doesn't have to get into creepy territory and that's the one thing that that i've noticed a huge trend is you know, they keep saying guys aren't sensitive, guys, whatever. I'm like, no, nah, you look at, like, you know, the military especially. And you look at, you know, um, and, you know, guys do form deep friendships. And that doesn't mean that they're, you know, deep in their friends. Yeah, uh, and the thing is, you don't have to even, not even talk about straight guys. There are a lot of guys who aren't straight who have friends that are other guys that don't act this way. Yeah, right? yeah. Because I mean, it's like crossing a line, you know. And it's like, you know, same with girls. There's a lot of girls who are other girls who have friends that are girls and they don't act this way because that's your friend you know you don't you're, it's not the same thing and they keep crossing these lines anyway yeah and i i just uh i just think it's very weird i mean this this article again this was written a couple of years ago but this does sound like they're just trying to kind of justify, justify it i kiss and, and and you know cuddle my friends and i'm i'm straight i swear you're not straight dude oh it's just fine just say you're your bye and call it a day it's no straight. big deal oh god now they're gonna pull up that episode of friends where joey and chandler were uh nap time buddies 
Oh my god, I forgot about that. Do you remember that? Yes. They were they were taking naps together, but it was like completely completely on the up and up, you know. <laughs> <sighs> you know, uh so yeah, but we've got um you know in defense of shipping. This was written a couple of years ago. It seems like shipping the shipping thing really peaked like 2016, 2017. Well, they're like trying to defend like we're not over sex, it's, it's romantic. And it's like they're like, stop making everything sexual. Why we're in a perfectly good friendship with sex. They're just friends to chill out. Basically, it's like, you know, well, it's not hurting anybody to have to, to, to ship these. And I'm like, it, 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 it's not. You're like, there's no real world consequences until there are. And I'm not talking just same sex people. I'm talking like, you know, like, for example, uh, you know, the Raylos, who yeah. w- it was so bad that um, Adam Driver's wife was pregnant and they couldn't even mention it and she had to leave Twitter because the shippers were, were threatening her because she, he, should be with, he should be with Daisy Ridley because they decided. This is why you don't give Annie Wilkes access to the internet. Um, you know. Yeah, I'm just saying it's like that. You know, so the shipping can go too far for for sure. It can go too far. People don't get their ships on games or whatever, and they threaten artists and creators. Mm-hmm. It, it does go too far. When it's done, that's just like you know, I'm making it because I want to make it for myself, and it's fun. You know, me and yeah. my friends are into it. Okay, that's fine. There are shipping. There are shipping incidents, incidences that aren't terrible and aren't toxic, and you know, are okay. But then there, a lot of it just goes too far. So this is, I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head around the whole concept of, of shipping, right? Um, so why do people feel the need to add the icing at all to a close friendship? Isn't the cake enough? Wait, it's only that, that their <laughs> shipping is the icing on top of the cake? To you, maybe. To other people, it's just like, you know, you, you drop the cake on the floor, scrape them back up, and put on the plate again. Nailed it. Uh, my take is that people want to intensify whatever they love about the friendship to bring it to another level. When shippers add the element of sexual fantasy <laughs> to platonic situations, it doesn't simply show that they have dirty minds. Maybe for them, sex just represents a higher measure of connection. This is so written by a woman. And because it is. for women, I mean, I think there's definitely a difference um, for not all women, of course, but for a lot of women, I think that there's a difference between how men look at sex and women look at sex. I mean, I, 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 I honestly believe that. But um, not that just shows it right there. But they, I think women to them, it's like a relationship. You know, it's more of like a closeness, the intimacy thing. For guys, it's just like sometimes it's an intimacy thing for some people. But a lot of times it's just like, yeah, okay, whatever. I get intimate plenty. So the, the imaginative aspect of shipping is also important in understanding why people participate <laughs> in such. I would love to know. For people who find real life dating situations disappointing, shipping can become a safe way to explore and better define wait, love. Wait, wait, wait. Your real life dating life is disappointing, so you're going to ship other characters. But that's still not going to improve your real life situation. What? Um They can invest themselves wholeheartedly into a relationship that will not break. I like um, this next one. They can also mentally insert. I know, like how they put mentally in front of that. Into a ship with a lot of characters. In order to expound upon the type of ideal romantic situation they would like. But if you do like this, you're never going to be happy because it's never going to uh, it's Nobody's. never going to meet your expectations. Oh my God, it's going to be it's it's like lowered expectations from Mad well, TV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's lowered <laughs> expectations. I forgot about that. But it's like okay, you watch like you watch these movies and these relationships on and Hollywood you know puts these out there, and then when you get in the real world and you have real relationships or real uh, intimate situations, it doesn't go the way the movies go. It just doesn't work that way. Um, You know, I've never had a moment with Neon where it's, you had me at hello, you know, or like that, because it's not real. You had me pretty much at hello. Oh, well, now you're trying to make me look bad. (laughs) Well, you did. Nuh-uh, nuh-uh, no. You said I was bad Chinese food, so I did not. It's complicated. We're not going to get it. You have to explain it now that you brought it up. I didn't bring the Chinese food up. Well, so, now you said about hello. So I saw her. I saw her. And I'm like, yep. I just knew. I'm like, that's. I'm going to marry this girl. That's my And I'm like, no, no. That's ridiculous. You don't just look at somebody. And then you and thought, say, well, maybe my Chinese, the Chinese food I ate was bad. That's what you told me. In his quest to be, you know, romantic. Super See, Holly will tell you, like, oh my gosh, I knew as soon as I saw you that you would be mine. No, no, no. He has to take the extra step. You know, the places where you're like, just stop talking. And then I thought, well, you know, that's I, weird. Maybe I just had bad Chinese food. And I, he actually told me this. As I've gotten older, <laughs> I have gotten wiser. Sometimes. In the, in the ways of the woman. And, uh, <laughs> Don't tell a woman that. And Stop when you're at the. I, I knew. I, I loved you when I saw you. Don't bring up the Chinese food. My woman foo is greater than yours. No. Uh. Yeah. You. You will learn. You will learn. Uh. Men. 
the longer you're with with a woman in a relationship, you will learn there are things you do not say. Women are much harder, I think, than guys because you know guys don't. Women overthink everything. I mean, at least the women I know and myself. I just think that's why they had the was it men are from Mars, women from Venus, because we do look at things completely differently. And it's funny because like it's you're like I didn't, I didn't even think about it that way. I didn't even I just I. You can you can look at like uh, you know a comic book or a TV show or a movie whatever, and be like, okay, this is a woman writing a man or this is a man writing a woman mm-hmm. because you can tell like they're basically like, oh, it's just a guy with boobs. That's a woman, and this is just you know, oh, this is what women think men are like, or this is you know, chick flicks especially. It's like the guy is always the idealized man, but. That's not actually how men act. And it just shuts, <laughs> and for both men and women, it just sets up unrealistic expectations. So if you're making these ships in your head about this ideal relationship with this person and all this that they're going to do for you and everything else, reality is never going to make you happy because you know you had the, you're spending all your time on this this, this ideal relationship that, that will never happen. Plus, you're basically on a character that's not even the real person. Yeah, well, where it gets really creepy is when you start. You know, bringing real people into it. How do I get my friend to stop yes, shipping this me with another friend? This keeps happening. Uh, you know, th- this happened with YouTubers. They yes. were shipping YouTubers, and they're like, "Would you freaking stop it? It's freaking creepy." Yeah, no. When they asked them to stop it, they made fun of them and said they were transphobic or you know homophobic or whatever yeah, phobic yeah. they were trying to say. I forget the time, but like they kept bringing this up, like for your phobic, and it, it's like and you're talking about me personally. It's not about being phobic. It's like I'm telling you to knock it off because I'm personally involved. It's yeah. Like, stop dictating other people's lives and then saying it's because they're phobic it's like hell no um so here we went out to the uh our favorite site the, the shipping.fandom.com yes wiki, and they've actually got family ships yes ew i, I mean nezutan nezutan no nezutan. no 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 it's, no it's, it's it's no no bad 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 touch. No. Yeah, there's a whole section on, on families. And it's like, ew. But they have like all these different, you know, these different things that they ship. These different, these, every, every show or every book or every anime, or whatever you can think of, they probably have a ship for it somewhere. Stop it. They're siblings. They're close, but they're not that close. No. They're not that close. No. Besides That's this, messed up. Problematic that he has a gag in her mouth and keeps her in a little box on her back. <laughs> on her back. And she's not allowed to talk, and she's also been hypnotized. That takes that to a whole new level of wrong. Anyway, oh, God. There, if you want a good laugh, just go out to the shipping fandom. Um, what, whatever show you can think of is on there. Um, so my takeaway from like reading some of these articles on on shipping is that people basically they have a hard time in real life connecting with people, so they. They uh, insert themselves into relationships and go to fake proms and all this other stuff. But it's actually kind of sad because you're not learning to human with other people. Mm-hmm. And again, you're, you're setting yourself up for disappointment because people are more complicated than characters on TV shows. <laughs> you know, people are a lot more complicated and there's a lot of give and take in relationships, uh, you know, and it is what it is. Yeah, I'm just I'm just I'm just looking at these. I just, anything you can think of, just give me something. Uh, what do you mean? Just, just give, give me a show. Oh, God. Uh, well, I, I thought DuckTales would be the last possible one. Let's see what other DuckTales they have. Roly Poly Oly. Wait, let's see what other DuckTales they have. I'm Now I'm afraid look at Roly Poly Oly. <laughs> let's see, do they have any, do they have any other DuckTales? Wait, you just have to search DuckTales? Search for DuckTales. Where do you search on here? Up oh here. Oh, my God. Go it's ahead. Be Scrooge McFuck. Um, Dude, DuckTales. Oh, my God. <laughs> it is. I'm going to laugh. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, that doesn't tell me anything. Web, oh, no, here we go. Debigail, Dewey and Webby, Weblina, Drake Pad. Oh, <laughs> no. Delumbra, Mallard McQuack Family, Don Daisy. Well, that's actually canonical. Launch Dad. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, wait, this is a family ship. Okay, so they're not actually romantically. They're okay. Okay. This is getting. This is just creepy. Launch dad. Well, she she had like two dads. I just. Gaza. I'm sorry. She I'm had just. Two I'm dads. just. I, I you look probably put Oli up. I doubt they have no. that. If they oh. do, I'm creeped out. <laughs> okay. Why would you go with Roly Poly Oli? I don't know. It was the first thing that popped in my head. Oh. Okay. That, that could got real. Okay, that so could got really dark. All right. I was like, that's what your go-to is. But they have a wiki for it. 
<laughs> I was like, that's your go-to? Anyway, if you want to, if you want to like have like a real, round. you want to take <laughs> smooth. If you want to take a, 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 you know, dip into that rabbit hole, um, just go check that site out. It's, That's the Bugs Bunny ship. I'm sure they have those too. I'm sure they. Oh God, yeah. Daff Bunny, Dunny. I I don't know. Waskily, Waskily best friends. We're gonna wrap it up. Yeah. I think. Please subscribe yeah. for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.